Yes. That's awesome. You got goggles for him? You don't see that shit every day. That dog's fucking awesome. Still not allowed in my gym though. What the fuck though? Damn! So today we're gonna kick off the day with a photo shoot for MGU Micro Gym University. And uh, we're gonna do it in the style of Animal House. I needed that. So we're gonna do a little photo shoot today. I got my boy Vivanco who's done all my photography for the years and years and years I've been CrossFit South and Urban Movement. I mean, since I started this whole damn thing. He's recently moved to Arizona, so anyone in the Phoenix, Arizona area that needs a bomb ass fucking photographer, let me know, I'll hook you up. But right now we're gonna go ahead and get a few props needed for the photo shoot. How good is that gonna be? <laughs> yeah, that'll be perfect. I just needed a clear bottle. Hell yeah, dude. You are, you are such a vlogger, it hurts. <laughs> like, I appreciate this because I feel like this is someone that's so desperate to get my subscribe <laughs> that they're like showing up at my place. Like, do you wanna be in the fucking book? <laughs> do you feel like this is something you wanna do? <laughs> I fucking did it again. Goddamn, one mile to empty. I'm just. I'm literally the fucking worst when it comes to this. I just never fucking pay attention and just ride this thing to zero. And I, this time I don't think we're gonna make it. I don't think we're gonna make it this time. Three minutes away. We are cutting it fucking close. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Road closed, god damn it. Holy shit, I think I'm gonna make it again. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I gotta stop doing that. All right, so back to the photo shoot. Anyway, again, even with something like this, like micro gym, where it's just gonna be this element of something I offer, just like the amount of thought that goes into how it's presented, how it's pitched to you guys, you know, the branding of it, all that, it just, it, you has, it's everything to me. It's just, it's fucking everything. Fuck it, I'm not even waiting for this shit to get filled up. We'll leave it at like, half a tank or whatever it is, three-fourths of a tank. I like to live dangerously, motherfuckers. This is really important, Isaac. I know. Everything is really Let me get a small box, I didn't mean just keep Cool. Going. So I had to go to Joe's to get a bottle of Jack Daniels because I didn't think I had any clear bottles of whiskey. I just have dark bottles of Jameson. And then lo and behold, a full bottle clear of Jack Daniels Black Barrel. This will look way better than Joe, Joe, sorry, I appreciate the bottle, it's just, this one's gonna look better. And I actually drink this. Guys, this is Matt, by the way. Matt's been my photographer since like day fucking yeah, yes. one. Literally, any debauchery like this, we had him do a St. Patrick's Day documentary, we just got drunk <laughs> for two days, business stuff. Yeah, there's about a third, that, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna empty out a little bit more. I'll do some no hat, no sunglasses, and then with the iconic hat and then sunglasses. Yep. Just do a couple, there, just see how they look. <laughs> oh, let's see that now. I like it. I like it. Alright, no mad at me, you're gonna go get breakfast. Get in my belly! Alright, breakfast with Vivanco is over. Just took him back to his car. But now I'm gonna take you guys somewhere, just a, a real quick trip down memory lane. That right there, that was my first location. Like right back there in the corner, right there. That was my first spot. And I just had this back little spot. This was it, this was the front. I came upon this spot, it wasn't even for lease. I just walked in, asked the guy behind the desk if he'd be willing to sublease me some space. And he said yes. And then back here, this door. So this was the door to like the office, the reception area. AK where like I fucking lived for a very short period of time. 
But for a lot of you guys looking for commercial leases, I cannot recommend enough. Go to the places that aren't even listed. Knock on the doors and ask them, is this for lease? Are you looking to hand it off to somebody? You'll be really surprised on some of the answers you get. And then literally, right here, it was right next door to my first spot. Boom. This is where my second location was. So this was it. This right here, that sign, this was my spot. This is my second location. Again, it wasn't even listed for lease. I just went ahead. There was a business here that kind of left overnight. I did some hunting, found out who owned it, got my broker involved, and long story short, I, I got this building. It was actually a really much longer crazy fight. I'll say that for another day. I'm gonna do an entire like background on this and like with this and how I got here and to then buying the building. I'll do that all. That's just gonna be a separate feature video. But I, yeah, I just wanted to stop by here. This thing is currently listed for sale. Like it is this entire, uh, like this entire warehouse all back in through here. It's like 7,500 square feet. And currently they've got this thing for sale. So like, we had like, look how fucked up this is. Like this again, how aesthetically not pleasant this was. Look at all this down here. Like this is just where they used to get truck deliveries. All in through here, all fucked up. We used to have crazy fun tailgating parties here. I used to like rent this out on a tailgate. Like this would mend that us like seven to $9,000 a season depending on how well the Panthers did. And then we had like these glass bay door or like things that these doors didn't even really function we had to prop them open with dumbbells but now now that i've moved this property the property is currently under contract for sale i don't know if it's actually under contract just being marketed but last time i checked they wanted like 6.5 million something in that range but this was one of the this is the pisser like this was the thing all through here i had this entire like 300 car parking lot. We ran Charlotte's best boot camp out of here. We did a ton of cool shit. But this was, I mean, the, this, the, like you couldn't get a better spot. You could not. Right over there was an, is an off ramp for the highway. So cars would come right in off the highway. They'd have to fucking sit there and stare at that goddamn sign right up there. And then on Sundays for, you know, any home Panthers games, this entire parking lot just decked out. We'd have fucking 20, 40, 50 people every Sunday, home game Sunday, coming in to use the restroom. It was just the best visibility, I would argue, that I've ever seen in a gym in any city. It was just absolutely, it was phenomenal. You're a block and a half from the Panther Stadium, and I don't know, I had some free time this morning, so I thought I'd take you guys down this little trip down memory lane. This is where, like honestly, this is where I got my foothold. This is, this is where things started getting really interesting for me as a micro gym owner. My advice to you, <laughs> Start drinking heavily. You better listen to him, Flounder. He's in pre-med. Oh,